everybody, my name is Steven, welcome back to the channel, better known as Double Pulse. Today, I'm actually going to be talking to you exactly why I never uploaded my drone video. So, most of you guys probably don't even know this exists, that I had a drone, because I never talked about it. You guys remember during the time in January when I went over to the World's Fair Nano, and that I posted a video all excited about going, and then I went to the World's Fair Nano, Post a little, you know, snippets of the the stuff that you see there. Uh, not a very long video. Um, but one of the things that I bought there was a Microdrone 3.0 combo pack. And I'm going to actually just cut right to the chase and say that this is the first time I have ever felt like I wasted $150. And let me explain to you why. There's many different factors that actually come into this. Um, and I'm going to try and break it down into the most simplest things. So, I am a drone newbie. I don't fucking know anything about drones. I don't know anything about, you know, what drone to get, what drone not to get. So, that's partly on my fault. But there was also some things that I did research a little bit about drones in general. And the thing is, I wanted a drone that was... And I'm sure other people have had these <clears throat> requests when they're looking to get a drone. I wanted a drone with a decent camera that was a small and that, you know, you couldn't really injure anybody or you cut your fingers off. Uh, not FAA registration and decent flight time. You know, you want all of that cool stuff in a drone. In fact, I will say that the FAA registration thing, after looking at it, it's probably not as a big deal as a lot of people are making it to be. But then again, I could be completely wrong because I don't really know a whole lot about drones to begin with. Um, so, I had filmed a unboxing video. You guys are going to see a little bit of B-roll right now. Uh, and I never uploaded the unboxing video. I never uploaded the unboxing video for a couple reasons. I was kind of uncomfortable with the, I don't know, I didn't like the video in terms of like just what was said. I just wish I would have cut it down. It was too long. Um, and there was quite a bit to cover. But my issue with these kind of drones is I was looking for a drone for a while that didn't feel like it was kind of like knockoff quality. Like it didn't, like it felt like, I didn't want something that felt kind of like a little bit cheap or I wanted something that was very much decent that I could use and actually get good video out of it. Um, but the interesting thing about it is the, the first thing that irritates me most about this drone is the, if I ever had any issues with this drone, which I do have issues with it. I have actually quite a bit of issues because I would like to do, I would have loved to do a uh, a review on this thing, but I can't do a review because I never actually experienced flying this freaking thing long enough to make a good judgment call on it. But judging based off of the other issues that I had to go through, it's just not worth my time anymore. This drone was manufactured in the, the UK, so if I had any issues, and, or I want to return this thing once I bought it. Mind you, I bought it at the World's Fair Nano at $150, which is actually the cheap price. It was actually on sale 30%, normally $200. I would probably have to pay a ridiculous amount of, of a shipping fee or a, you know a return cost to get my money back. And then that if I had any issues that they said, hey... You know, just email us. We will we'll send you a new part. It's been two weeks since I emailed them for the the new parts that I'm about to explain here in a second, and I still haven't got them because it's coming from the United Kingdom. So I took this thing out to a flight, and what ended up happening is after 15 minutes, I landed a little bit difficult. Now, if you're taking it outside, I know taking outside was my big issue. Um, one of my issues was that I'd practice, see, I had practiced maybe like 10 to 15 minutes, maybe even 20 minutes before I even took it outside. So I knew how to fly it. However, I landed a little bit too hard on the ground. It wasn't that it, I lost control of it. I landed it a little bit too hard 
and the freaking battery pins got bent. Now, you might be wondering, why is this an issue? Well, you need to put the battery in. Now, another interesting thing about this is if you do hit it, the battery might fall out pretty easy, and you'll lose all control of the thing, and it'll go flying. It will go falling anyway. So, camera is modular. It sounds like a good thing. It sounds like, oh, cool, you can put any little attachments. They were going to make a gimbal on this, and I don't know why they haven't made a gimbal yet. Uh, apparently, this drone was a, um, I guess, a Kickstarter project that had, after I, I bought the drone, one big thing you do not do is after you buy a product, you then look at reviews because you usually look at reviews before. Um, they were very mixed. Some people said good things about it. Some people said bad things. Now, if you're curious on who made this drone, it is Extreme Flyers. Extreme Flyers, and they, I guess, they were running a Kickstarter on this thing on the first two models, and this is the third. And I heard that the first two models weren't that great, um, apparently. And that I hope that the third model had been improved on, right? So, after 15 minutes of flying this thing, uh, it, went cra it went falling to the ground. Not really crashing, just landed hard. It fell to the ground, battery came out, you know, camera came off, pins got bent right here, and I actually decided to... Um, to try and see if the battery would I uh, the battery would fit in. Mind you, at this time I didn't know the pins were bent, so I stick this thing in right. And once I started, once I stuck this in, it lit up for a second, and I decided to stick the camera on, and the drone started smoking. It started smoking. The drone freaking started smoking, and I had to basically take it out right now. Um, so yeah, this is the Micro Drone 3.0. Um, and now I still want a drone. I still want to get one. I would like to get a portable, you know, smaller drone, but I don't have enough money to afford a particular drone just yet. So I think I'm just going to pass on using one. Uh, Extreme Flyers said that they were going to send me the, uh, extra, the extra parts, no additional cost, uh, and that they were actually gonna, I was gonna see if I can fix it, but when I buy something for $150 like this, and I wanted to, I wanted to have at least a little more fun than 15 minutes on this thing. So, the Micro Drone 3.0, unfortunately, will not be getting an unboxing video, will not be getting a review from me, because I just, I don't really care about it. I've lost pretty much all interest in it, and I don't really even care about flying this thing anymore. Which is, unfortunately, pretty sad, because I feel like I wasted $150 on it. But uh, that's just my quick rant on this video. I know this is more of an 8-minute, 9-minute rant. But let me know if you guys had any issues with this drone in the past. Um, Micro Drone 3.0 by Extreme Flyers. And leave your comments down below. I'd love to read them. My name is Steven. Once again, if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'll have more content coming out relatively shortly. Hope you guys have a good day, and I will talk to you guys soon. Goodbye.